Do you suffer from allergies, chemical sensitivities, respiratory issues? Uh, maybe know somebody who suffers with uh, autism or they're a cancer survivor? Uh, my name is Scott Preller and I'm the owner of Green Organics Pest Control, PLLC. Uh, we've been in business since 2012 and uh, I personally, I suffer from celiac disease as well as uh, seasonal allergies or environmental allergies uh, because there really isn't a season for mine. Um, pretty much have issues uh, all times during the year. Have some of those issues or know people that, ha people that do, uh, I strongly encourage organic pest control. We don't use any of the harsh chemicals that most companies use. All our products are as natural or as, or as organic as you're going to find any company using. So how or why organic uh, pest control versus uh, the, the traditional option? I get this question all the time. And for different people, the, the reason for one versus the other is going to be different. Um, so let's explore that a little bit. Um, a lot of times when people ask me, you know, about organic pest control, they say uh, they've been told that it doesn't work. And my first question usually is, well, who told you that? Uh, and their response, of course, is, well, their former pest control guy. Well, he probably has a reason to tell you that. Uh, he has a vested interest in keeping you as a customer using his chemicals. Uh, that's like the guy from a Ford dealership telling you that Chevy trucks just don't work. They don't turn on. Uh, does that make it true? No, of course not. That's a, a simple example that usually makes people have a little bit of better understanding. Another question that easily kind of resolves this is, uh, well, you know, how did Mother Nature control pests before we had our man-made chemicals? And a light usually goes on and it's like, oh, okay, yeah. So there's natural things, you know, from Mother Nature that control pests like uh, repellent plant life. Uh, for example, uh, rosemary uh, is a common plant found in people's landscapes uh, in the valley. Uh, other than making really great chicken recipes, uh, it's also a natural repellent for bugs. Um, sort of things like thyme, wintergreen, vanilla, all of those things have a natural repellency factor to them that can help keep pests away. Uh, certain insects give off certain pheromones to keep other bugs away. Uh, those are all great controls. Um, that's the kind of knowledge that we hone in organic pest control versus the traditional. It's not just about how the products, uh, what, the, what products we use, but it's about how they're used, where they're used, when they're used, um, and what we physically do to the environments that the bugs try to inhabit that we don't want them to. Uh, we use food grade products in certain cases like diatomaceous earth. Uh, it's literally an edible product. If I didn't have one that was labeled for pest control, you, this would be the same one that would be applied to uh, flour-based products and you would actually consume in your home. Uh, we use essential oils, uh, minerals, things like that to control the pests. Um, I don't just like organics, I love organics uh, because I don't have to feel guilty about polluting people's environments, especially mine. Uh, or other people with sensitivities, allergies, autism, uh, cancer survivors, or uh, transplant recipients, uh, just to name a few. So with all the positives and fewer negatives, I think the real question is, why not organics? So if you suffer from allergies or chemical sensitivities or know somebody who does, uh, give us a call, Green Organics Pest Control, 602 448-1180 or visit us at greenorganicspest.com green, Think Organic, Green Organics The guys in the green truck Speaking of bugs uh, <laughs> uh,